Hi, this is your math prof, Barbara Rademacher, and we are going to do a couple of more story problems. There were 635 tickets sold for a basketball game. The activity cardholder's tickets cost $1.25, and the non-cardholder tickets cost $2.00. The total amount of money collected was $1,009.75. How many of each kind of ticket were sold? Notice how there are two kinds of tickets, the activity card holders and the non-card holders, and they're being compared. Okay, that is, their numbers at least are being compared. There's a kind of a neat way to deal with this that I want to take this opportunity to show you. Okay, here we go. I have found it very helpful sometimes to draw a box and make it into a spreadsheet that has three rows and four columns. All right, in your uh, college algebra class, this will be called a three by four. Three rows, four columns. Anyway, this is what I do with it. I put the two things that are being compared there. So there would be card holders, and notice I've written the answers. Card holders and non, I'm just going to call them non-cards, okay? And then I always write total over here. And then I read the problem again because I have to put a word here and a word here. So I have to read the problem again. There are 635 tickets sold for a basketball game. The activity card holders tickets, in other words, the card holders tickets, cost $1.25 and the non-card holder tickets cost $2. The total amount of money collected was $1,009.75. Okay, we're given, we're given two totals, okay? The first one is right at the very beginning, 635. Oh, oh, except I'm writing it on the wrong side. Write it over here under total. 635. And the other total is the total amount of money, which is right there. Now, what this is is the number of tickets, and I would have written that in that box if I hadn't messed up. So I'm going to write number of tickets. And down here, I'm going to write money or total amount of money or something like that. But I like to keep it simple, so I'll just write money, okay? Now, how many card holders and non, how many non card holders? If you don't look at the answers, you're going to say you don't know. So when I don't know, what do I do? I use letters, variables but they're letters, okay? I'm going to let the card hold, the, the number of card holders be X and the number of non-card holders be Y. And there are only two kinds of people who uh, attended this basketball event. So these plus these have got to equal 635 and that gives me my first equation. Now, to come up with the, uh, the second line, what you want to do is say, what was the total amount of money that the card holders, the total amount of this money that the card holders are responsible for, and what is the total amount of this amount of money that the non-card holders are responsible for? I don't know that either, but there is something I do know. I do know that the cardholder's tickets cost $1.25, each one. So the total amount of money they're responsible for is $1.25 times X. 
That's the total amount of money from these people right here. The uh, total amount of money from the non-card holders, since their tickets cost $2 each, would be 2Y. And so this total plus this total add up to the total amount of money. So 1.25x plus 2y equals 1,009.75. And now I have my two equations. And that box, this box right here, or spreadsheet, this helps me a lot because notice that it's like the you just put the information in and the equations just kind of fall out of it. I always kind of liked that. Well, I have two decimals. They both have two decimal places. I could easily, if I wanted to, multiply both sides of this equation by 100 in order to get rid of the decimals. You don't have to, but you can. So now my line 1, my first equation would be x plus y equals 635, and the next equation would be 125x plus 200y equals 100975. And now we're dealing only with whole numbers. And we haven't really so far in this set of problems used substitution a lot. Why don't we do that now? Um, we're being asked for both the card holders and the non-card holders, how many of each kind of ticket were sold. So it doesn't really matter how I do this. So why don't I solve for x and say x equals, see, what are they asking for first? The card holders. And what are the card holders? They are x. So, yeah, x equals 635 minus y, and that comes from line 1, so I'll take this down to x in line 2, and that is going to leave me with y's, and I'll have to solve for y's. Oh, well, I'm going to have to eventually anyway. So here we go. I'll have 125 times 635 minus y plus 200y equals 1,000, well, no, 100975, what is that? That's 100,975, a much bigger number. One of the things I don't like about substitution is you often end up with much larger numbers. Now, I'm going to go to the calculator over here my friend Wabbitmoo, the free, it's called an emulator. And here I, you'll be able to keep track of what my, what my keystrokes are. I just had to hit on twice. If you use Wabbitmoo, you might have to do that. I'm going to multiply 125 times 635. Enter. And that will be 70, 79,375 minus 125y plus 200y equals 100975. And I'm not going to bother with the commas. All right. Adding my two like terms together, negative 125y plus 200y is going to be 75y. So I will have 79375 plus 75y equals 100975. And then I will subtract this number over to the other side, minus 7. 9375 <clears throat> minus 7, let's see, the 375 goes here and the 79 would go here. All right, these guys zero out. I'm left with 75. Let me move this. 75y 
equals, let's put that in the calculator. We're going to put one oh zero zero one zero zero nine seven five. I'll make the other thing come back in a minute. Minus seven nine three seven five. Enter and I get 21,600, 21,600. Now let me make the actual question come back. Whoop, wrong one. I may have made it go away. Oh well, we're going to do this anyway. All right, now. I'm going to divide both sides by 75. That is a 75, not 7.5. 75, but divide both sides by 75, which will get me y by itself. And I will divide 21,600 divided by 75. and I get 288. Now I have found it very convenient over the years to go back to where I've defined Y. Y is the non-card holders. There are 288 of these people. Well, so how many, um, how many X's? How many card holders? We'll have x equals 635 minus 288. Okay, 635 minus 288. And that will be 347. And I remember that those are the correct answers. So 347. Let me write it down here bigger. So when you answer the question, if this particular question uh, were on the homework for you, because you'll have this question but with different numbers, um, you would answer that the card, if this were the, the question you had, you would say that there are 347 card holders and 288 non-card holders. Okay? All right, I'll talk to you later.